Greetings fellow global citizens. My name is Dr. Patricia Jenkins, President of the United Nations Association of Australia, New South Wales, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to our Peace Perspective video, which is part of our special celebrations of the United Nations International Day of Peace. Celebrating this day is of great significance as peace is at the very heart of the work of the United Nations. So as we commemorate this most important day, we must take time to reflect on our past, present and future. We must remember those who have sacrificed their lives in the name of peace and those who continue to provide, protect and preserve peace around the world. In my opinion, the best way to support peace is for 193 member states of the United Nations to implement and action the agreements and the resolutions that they've endorsed, including those that come from peace operations, peacekeeping and peace building. And if you don't communicate well with your team and with the, the local Malian people, you have very little room for success. Communicating with people means understanding their culture and what is acceptable for their backgrounds. And to do this, you need really great advice. The world first showed its concern for refugees at the end of the Second World War. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights includes Article 14, which says that every human being has the right to seek asylum. Unless we start to treat refugees properly as a world, um, then the chances for peace are very slim. In Afghanistan, uh, I'm confronted every day by the very real consequences of conflict. Peace in Afghanistan would mean that the millions of people in humanitarian need would be able to go about their daily lives without fear. It would mean that families could go to the market uh, to buy food for, for their meals without having to navigate through armed checkpoints. It would mean children could walk to school without having to worry about IEDs beside the road. We have an obligation to become advocates for peace and to become advocates for vulnerable people who are living in war-torn countries around the world. The International Day of Peace provides an opportunity to reflect on our shared humanity and renew our commitment to peace. Australia has been at the forefront of international peace and security since the United Nations was established. Peace is not just the absence of conflict, but the presence of justice. Police can make a significant contribution to these efforts, but to be truly effective, there must be a peace to keep, local buy-in, and the international support for long-term investment. Peace is important for Australia today and for our future, as we want future generations of Australians to grow up in a world free from fear and tension, where opportunity is abundant and marginalisation is non-existent. Peace is not a given. We, ne we all are responsible and need to own our own commitment to building and promoting all peace. And probably most important is to build resilience. This includes the community or population affected by a fracture of peace, and also resilience in those who seek to effect a peaceful resolution, be it to a domestic or international peace dilemma. 